It will be back to the future at the State House in 2020 as Democrats revive top priority bills vetoed by Governor Chris Sununu, from background checks and waiting periods on gun purchases to voting rights. And a lot of this was common sense legislation and a lot of it was bipartisan. Um, so we're hopeful that even though Governor Sununu quadrupled the record number of vetoes with 57, 42 of them had bipartisan support, we're hopeful there will be a different atmosphere in 2020. But this year there's an added political dimension to almost every debate under the Golden Dome, with Senate Majority Leader Dan Feltis and Executive Counselor Andrew Volinsky running for governor. I think the governor needs to be the collaborator in chief. So my goal would be to talk to the counselors regularly, solicit their suggestions both for nominations and for contractual approvals. This governor's never asked any of us, as far as I can tell. Faced with Democratic majorities around the building, the incumbent governor, Chris Sununu, says he's not thinking about the impact on his reelection. Sure, we vetoed a lot of bills, but we also signed more bills, uh, bipartisan bills, than um, I think even Governor Hassan ever signed in any, any given year. So we get a lot of stuff done when we focus on the job, and then you take care of the campaign when the campaign really kicks into gear. In an election year, everyone is under the spotlight, and Democrats swept into office on the blue wave of 2018 will be closely watched. State Senator John Morgan, who won a narrow victory in a deeply red district, spent most of last year trying to straddle the partisan divide. Why are we playing politics for the cameras, guys? In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.